This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at trends in ionic radii. We'll start by comparing positive ions and we'll compare the sodium atom and the sodium ion. Positive ions lose electrons to obtain a full outer shell. The electron configuration of the sodium atom is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. The sodium atom loses its one valence electron to form a one positive ion with the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. If we compare the size of the sodium atom and the sodium ion, we can see that the sodium ion is smaller than the sodium atom. So positive ions are smaller than their parent atoms. And the reason for this trend is that the ion has more protons than electrons, therefore there is a stronger attraction between the nucleus and the outer electrons. And the second reason is that the sodium ion only has two occupied energy levels compared to three occupied energy levels for the sodium atom. Next we look at negative ions and we'll compare the chlorine atom and the chloride ion. Negative ions gain electrons to obtain a full outer shell. If we look at the electron configuration of the chlorine atom, we can see it has seven electrons in the outer energy level, whereas the chloride ion has eight electrons in the outer energy level. Therefore, the chloride ion has gained one electron to form a one negative ion. Next, if we compare the size of the chlorine atom and the chloride ion, we can see that the chloride ion is bigger than the chlorine atom. So negative ions are bigger than their parent atoms. And the reason for this trend is that the ion has more electrons than protons, therefore there is a weaker attraction between the nucleus and the outer electrons. Next, we look at the trend in ionic radii across a period. The ionic radii of positive ions decrease across a period as the number of protons in the nucleus increases, but the number of electrons remains the same. Here we have a sodium ion, a magnesium ion and an aluminium ion. As we go across a period from left to right, the ionic radii decrease. The reason for this trend is as we go from left to right, the number of protons in the nucleus increases. Sodium has 11, magnesium has 12, and aluminium has 13 protons in its nucleus. However, they all have the same electron configuration, which means they have the same number of electrons. They are isoelectronic. So the sodium ion has 11 protons pulling on 10 electrons. The magnesium ion has 12 protons pulling on 10 electrons. And the aluminium ion has 13 protons pulling on 10 electrons. So the greater number of protons pulling on the same number of electrons mean ionic radii decrease across a period. Next we look at negative ions. The ionic radii of negative ions decrease across a period as the number of protons in the nucleus increases but the number of electrons remains the same. Here we have the phosphide ion, the sulfide ion and the chloride ion. Just like for the positive ions, the number of protons in the nucleus increases by one as we go from left to right. However, they all have the same electron configuration, which means they have the same number of electrons. The phosphide ion has 15 protons pulling on 18 electrons. The sulphide ion has 16 protons pulling on 18 electrons. And the chloride ion has 17 protons pulling on 18 electrons. So once again, this explains why ionic radii decrease across a period.